everyone! Welcome to the Crafty Pixie channel where we do sewing projects and subscription boxes. I am B. Whether you are new or old here, thank you so much for stopping by. It is great to have you. How is everybody doing today? I am so proud of all of you for once again getting up and dealing with the day and dealing with life. Um, it is great to have you. Um, thank you for joining me week after week on this journey. It's wonderful to have you here with me as well. Um, in today's project, we are making the bifold wallet by So Nar Sewing Patterns. I don't know if I said that correctly, but I'll have it in the description box below for you so you can get the pattern. This is made with uh, leather, cork, vinyl, anything that uh, you can have raw edges and not have any fraying. This is a great pattern. This is super quick, super easy. Um, I was finally asked <laughs> to make a men's wallet and this is a great pattern to do that. I did use um, some vinyl that looks like leather. Um, it, this vinyl is a little thick. Uh, if you are new to vinyl or leather, be a little bit careful, but I had no issue with it whatsoever. I don't have an industrial machine that I use. I have a domestic machine, so um, it's a singer. So this handled it no problem whatsoever. You have six card slot pockets. You've got these nice little like slip pockets, and then you have a cash pocket as well. There's no zipper for um, any coins or anything like that, but for men, they don't usually have them. So, um, but it folds nice, fits into the pocket. Um, it is great. Um, I did use some red thread as a little bit of a decorative highlight, but you can also um, embroider a design or something like that on the front of the wallet. That would be really, really cute. Um, but yeah, like I said, great project. If you are kind of experimenting with cork or vinyl or leather, anything like that, this is a great project to um, try out and experiment with. Um, not a lot of pieces and it takes absolutely no time at all to do. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know when I upload every week. Leave a comment in the comment section, especially if you are a new subscriber. I would love to hear from you and give the video a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to share the video with friends, family, coworkers, the universe anything like that every share really really helps and I do appreciate it a lot so without any further ado let's get to materials and escape for a while for this project um, you're going to need all of your pattern pieces cut out now this project has raw edges so you need vinyl faux leather cork, something that isn't going to fray on the edges. Um, if you have fray check, you can always use fray check to have an even smoother finish. Um, you're going to need scissors. Um, it's always good to have a seam ripper on hand. You're gonna need a ruler, clips only. Um, do not use pins because it'll leave a mark in the fabric. It's not going to go away. You're going to need uh, marking tools. I um, may have to use a couple different ones depending on what this does. Um, and then it's also good to have some double-sided tape or um, some 
like scotch tape or something just to hold the pieces down that the clips don't reach to. You're going to need your uh, sewing machine with coordinating thread. You're going to need a needle for whatever fabric you're using. So since I'm using vinyl, I'm going to be using like a um, leather needle to make sure it stays smooth. And for the um, stitch length, I am going to be using a three millimeter stitch length for the whole process. So let's get started. For this step, we're going to take our um, outer body panels that you cut two of, and we're going to place them wrong sides together, like so. And we're going to clip them into place. And we're only clipping across the top because we are only sewing across the top edge. So if you have a directional print or anything like that, make sure it's lined up right now. So top of the print, bottom of the print. All right, and then we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew at an eighth of an inch seam allowance all the way across the top. Now you can backstitch at the beginning and at the end. I am going to try the pulling the um, bobbin thread and the needle thread through and tying it and then burning the ends. I'm gonna try that and see how that looks on this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead to the sewing machine, do that, and I'll be right back. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and put that to the side right now. And you're going to go ahead and you're gonna take your six card slot panels. Um, this is an optional step, you don't have to do it. And this is strictly for decoration detail. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and take this over to the sewing machine and you're just going to top stitch at an eighth of an inch seam allowance right across the top of each one of the panels, okay? Um, this is just, like I said, adding some decoration. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, make sure to backstitch at the beginning, at the end, at the end, or you can go ahead and pull the threads through and tie them. So I'm gonna go do that, I'll be right back. Next, what we're going to do is you're going to take the, um, card slot panel back so the bigger one of the pattern pieces and you're going to make two lines um, you can use the pattern piece if you want to or you can measure it out one's going to be three eighths of an inch and the other is going to be six eighths of an inch and then what we're going to do is we're going to take i know you can't see my lines <laughs> but we're going to take our first card slot pocket piece and we're going to align that with the first line so the top of the the two lines that we made and you're going to align that as well as aligning the sides just like so and you're going to go ahead and um, clip into place like that okay now we're going to take this over to the sewing machine I've done both of them already and we're going to sew at an eighth of an inch seam allowance right across the bottom here make sure to backstitch at the beginning and at the end really well and then we're going to attach the other two panels. All right, so I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back. Next, you're going to do the exact same thing with the second card slot pocket, and you're just going to line it up to the um, second marking that you made, the 3 eighths of an inch on both, and you're gonna take it to the sewing machine, and with an eighth of an inch seam allowance, we're just going to sew right across the bottom of each, um, back stitching at the beginning and at the end, keeping your 
um, stitch length at a three millimeter. It seems to be working really well for my um, leather or vinyl. So I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Next, we are going to place the third card slot pocket and clip it into place. Make sure you align the sides and the bottom. And we're going to take it over to the sewing machine on one panel. You're going to stitch all the way down the side, catching all of the layers. Make sure to backstitch really well at the beginning and at the end. You're going to um, do that on the right side. And then on the other panel, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to do it on the left side. Okay, so I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. Next, we're going to take our cash slot pocket and we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to top stitch along the bottom long edge at a quarter or no, I'm sorry, at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Next, we're going to place our card slot panels. Uh, please excuse my right hand. I broke a nail making dinner. Go figure. Um, but we are going to take our um, cash slot pocket with the top stitching on the bottom. And we're going to align the top and side of our card slot panels. So literally align the top and the side just like so. Now your um, card slot pockets are going to come over the edge of your cash slot pocket, which is perfectly fine. That's what it is supposed to do. Now we're going to clip this into place like so. And we're going to take this over to the sewing machine. is starting to get a little thick. Okay, we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and we are just going to top stitch the top edge right here, eighth of an inch seam allowance, um, three millimeter stitch length. Make sure to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. Next, we're putting it all together. Okay, so we're going to take our main wallet panel, um, pick whatever side you like. Um, if you've got, you know, an inside color as opposed to an outside color or what have you. And our card cash slot pocket. Now you're going to align the bottom and the sides together. Now, when you do this, it's going to be bowed a little, like the center is going to be um, away from the exterior and that is on purpose. That's going to allow this to fold up nicely for you um, while giving you that card slot pocket because there isn't going to be like a, a seam stitch um, in the center. So um, we're just going to align one side right up like so and we're going to clip into place now when you do this at the sewing machine you definitely want to go slow you're not going to want to rush this top stitch because it can really mess everything up. So make sure everything stays aligned with the bottom and the sides. One side feels like it's going to be easier than the other. All right, just like that. See how it kind of folds a little bit and it's going to fold really nice. Okay. And then we're going to clip the bottom edges together few clips here is a really good idea. 
This spot's going to be open. That's fine. It's supposed to be. And clip it. Clip it really nice. Just like so. If you hear talking in the background, the family is watching um, a documentary on sharks. So <laughs> they're getting a little loud. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like when it's done. Oh, okay, but there's gonna be top stitching, of course. Okay, so now take this over to the sewing machine. Be very careful, go slowly, it's not a race. You're going to start at the top, back stitch really well, come down the side of the right, go across the bottom, and then up the other side. Now back stitch really well at the beginning and at the end, um, but also I would back stitch really well over each of the card slot panels um, because that's gonna get a lot of use. Um, and I might back stitch right here on the edges as well just to reinforce those a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. And voila, it is done. This was a really nice project. It was very simple to do and you can knock out a lot of these. I'm so happy he finally asked me to make him a wallet. Um, so don't forget to leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to share. Until next time, see ya.